we 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 can, okay. So you know we can bring peace and happiness to the entire realm by systematically murdering everybody. Um, how does that sound? You know, I it's like the the best possible way to bring peace and longevity to the realm by killing everybody. How's that work? By 80 inches and a Cali King is 72x84. Huh. Yeah, exactly. You can't be oppressed if there's only demons. If there's only evil, then like, you know. No more grief. Yeah, exactly. There's no one there's no one to feel pain if no one's left alive, so. It is the only people alive at that point would be good, right? That's that's the logic there. <laughs> at least I think. I think it's a form of logic. That's for show. Um, seriously though, um, bullshit aside, just thanks guys for all the support. Um, seriously, just seriously, thank you. And suffering by ending life. Exactly. Create a new world for the overlord to destroy. By pressing one, you create a brand new world in the demon sim uh, known as war sim. You know, it's just totally same game, but it's just different main menu. Uh, here you decide what your world will look like. This choice completely shapes the game, so choose wisely. Random races. Pull from list of... 94,887,852 races to make your new unique world. One, two, three, four, or five, Chad. Well, definitely not five. One, two, three, or four. What do you guys think? I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning rando. Rando races. But um, your guys would call. This will probably take more than one stream. This game's pretty long. We'll do a short game, but it'll probably take like three or four streams regardless. One, one, one. All right, random raises it is. Rando it is. Hey, Prospect, what's up? Long time. Boop. Do you want to leave the races that fill your world completely up to fate, or would you like to a chance to select? Ah, uh, leave it up to fate. Oh, you know what? No, let's let's reroll in case we get something super stupid. Uh, so we did a short one last time. Let's do let's do very short. Let, let's do a very short period of time because like I don't want this series to go on too too long. Um and 5 years is like more than enough more, more time than I'll need for today anyway, so. Uh choose the music that you would like. Uh no music. Except current Okay, that's the active one. Go. Chat, are we a, okay? So we we are going to be Demon Overlord. Yes, I did indeed do an interview with the developer of this game, Q Millward. He's a cool cool dude. Um, are we a king, a queen, or a custom? Chat, what are we? What are we? And by we, I mean all of us. What are we? The Overlord that will destroy this mortal realm. What are we? The leg I, I actually, you know what? I really like that. We are the legislator. We are the legislator. How does that sound? Because that sounds pretty good to me. I don't know about you guys, but this sounds, this sounds pretty good. I think that we're going to roll with that. Enter your, the preferred title. King, queen, almighty, Steve, etc. Quite ominous, yes. Leaves plenty up to the imagination as well. We are the legislator. Hmm. Lord and lady. We use for my lord. Hmm. <laughs> legislator. Legislator. Uh. Yeah, I guess just legislator. Chad, thank you very much for the uh, 
Hype train. Cheers. That's a lot of bits. Cheers. Thank you so much, guys. I'm spelling that right. I'm like questioning it because of the font. That's a very derpy looking dog. Thank you so much for all the support today, Orange. Cheers, man. Leg is later. Leg is later. Leg is now. Uh, choose your... Uh, Mr. Mrs. Person. I kind of want to go with Master. Master Legislator. We are Master Legislator. Now, chat, this is the really, 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 really fun bit. What do we want to call ourselves? I kind of want to call ourselves Leg is Lator. But like, I mean, last time we were just like a whole bunch of random vegetables. Um, what do we want to call ourselves? Armok? Hmm. You know this game just has an included Dwarf Fortress mod, right? <laughs> like it comes packed in with a Dwarf Fortress mod. The extensive almighty and the extensive and almighty bureaucratic land of the red tape. Uh that would be my name? Or is that the name of our like country? Um because that's a long name dread. <laughs> my name is dread. Um hmm. Leggy McLegged. <laughs> Leggy McLater. Hmm. It should be like Steve. <laughs> Just Phil. <laughs> you know? Or like Mike. Or uh Sam. Um I'm trying to think of like a funny name. Like Bob could work, yeah. My name's Bob B. Kyle. <laughs> What's your name? Kyle. Uh, what's like a very, what is the least, well, chat, when, when someone says, what is the least threatening name? What is the least threatening name you think of? Trump. <laughs> Trump. Oh, man. You know, the funny thing about this game is like, we could just like fuck off from the, um, <laughs> actually, I think Leonard might actually, that's, that's pretty good. Leonard's pretty good. Leonard. It's like, <laughs> but it, like, this is a game where you can just like fuck off from your country if you want and just go drink in some faraway desert land just forever and like spend all of your money on horse racing. Ned. <laughs> Ned Flanders. You know, I kind of like Leonard. I think I'm going to go with Leonard. We are Leonard, the legislator. What? Please re-enter. Uh, oh, one. Make your own name. There we go. Uh, Leonard. Leonard. Uh, make your own kingdom name. Absolutely. <clears throat> the extensive and almighty bureaucratic land of red of the red tape. What's with the red tape? What if we go with something like the great and powerful massive socialist army of Satan hail Satan? Or something like that. The legislation? That's way too simple. Um, the big, massive legislation place of capitalism. Hail Satan. The great legis... <laughs> Breathing is illegal. <laughs> I mean, naturally, for our enemies, anyway. Congress. Just call it Congress. <laughs> um, hmm. Man, I suddenly just got a massive lump in my throat. Holy shit, that hurt. The Great Loophole. You know, that just, that just sounds like a novel. Like a like a science fiction fantasy politics novel, The Great Loophole. The Great Loophole behind the 
the wall can't wall of red tape. How's that? The great loophole behind the wall of red tape. Holy shit, hobo. Sorry, your badge just changed. You are the first person to have that badge. You should refresh your stream if you haven't. Dude. <laughs> Fucking four years, man. You, you, you all know it, chat. Hobo is king. Hobo's in charge now. Uh, all right, so what are, we call, what, what, what are we calling this? Master, king, sir, person. Testing. Am I also king? I am not. You have a newer badge than me. Congratulations. Hobo has officially got a cooler badge than me. <coughs> test post, please ignore. Ignoring test post. That, lo that badge is longer than your relationships combined. Not longer than mine. My longest was nine years, so. You see a crown on me? I need to refresh me, I think. Refreshing me. Testing. Hi, Bobtron. How is you? Holy shit, I have the crown too. Although I think uh, Cyclone probably also has it. Man. That's wild, dude. Four-year resubs. Good God. Good God. That is a long goddamn time. You can't show it due to founder badge? I mean, you could disable and re-enable founder badge, but yes, you also have the same badge. Four years, man. That's so fucking long. Holy shit. I don't feel old at all. Anyway, um, we're the great hoop loophole behind the wall of red tape, assuming King Hobo himself approve. King Hobo, do you approve? Um, also, chat, everybody in chat now has to um, refer to Hobo as Your Majesty, just so that you're aware. <laughs> you like the name? Sweet. Uh, easy, casual, normal, hard, or solid? Um, let's go with normal? Yeah, let's go with normal. Lord Hobo, Father Hobo, Master Hobo. The Great Boss Hobo. Your Majesty. <laughs> Oops, you, uh, yeah, yeah, you missed a T in there. Crypt think. I'm not that smart to make it crypt hink. Uh, yeah, normal. You are a rule. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you are a ruler of the kingdom of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape, once a great and mighty empire, fighting against a powerful rebellion of the Feradal, the Kinslayer, and the hordes of bandits loyal to Fenor, the overlord of the bandit horde. The world is vast and complex, and there is much to see and little time to waste. From the fabled ancient lands of the blood-soaked arena, to these lands united under the flag of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. War sim. Strike the earth? I need more emotes for that, unfortunately, Orange. You are brought a list of races and peoples that exist in the world. They are Mirman, the domain led by Nia the Goulash. 18, 1840 total population, five lands. A civilization of horned fire pyromancers. The tribe of minor trolls led by Tu Yimik, benefactor. 610 total population, five lands. I'm in the right directory, right? I didn't actually check. Uh, five lands and uh, civilization of minor trolls. The divine kingdom of the Blood Naga, led by the god king Arwen Sixfingered. 3,132 total population, 60 lands, civilization of Blood Naga. I am in the right directory. Cheers. Uh, the fire tribe of Warbone Protofolk, led by the high muckamuck, Craig Blooded Throne. His last name is Throne? 
The tribe of warborn protofolk led by the high muckamuck Craig blood bloodied throne. 4,774 population, seven lands, civilization of warborn portal pro, proto folk. So I guess like troglodytes basically. Uh, and the moon patri pa pa parit parashate. Pa what is that word? I don't even. Um, led by the patriarch Gish. <clears throat> 170 total population. Uh, Titan wasp form mages. I'm pretty sure that that means they are the size of small mountains. Yeah, I think that we need to hide from them, Contempt Map 4. They sound scary. And there's only 170 of them, and they have five lands, meaning they are at least as strong as the other peoples with five lands. I mean, how the fuck do you pronounce, like, G-G-S-H-S-K-K? -S -S like, how the hell do you pronounce that? I think we, we, these races seem good, chat, right? Hobo says check. I, I think that, I think that we're going to stick with this, because we got fucking Titan Wasp form mages. Yeah, exactly. Easy. The world is full, full of mystery and wonder, and there are many peoples in this world. They are men, horned fire pyromancers, minor trolls, blood naga, warborn proto folk, titan wasp form mages, goblins, and demons. <clears throat> well, so we've decided that um, I am evil, right? The last time we chose, it's a long story. And the irony of it is it's actually a really long story if you start with the, it's a long story. Um, my enslaved forces were able to overthrow. I pulled the fabled sword from a stone. I stole the throne with demonic trickery to serve the overlord. There we go. So six is our option. We have... Um, <clears throat> what's more evil than two? Um, what, my father was the previous ruler who died of old age? Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, we are, uh, we, we, we stole the throne with demonic trickery to serve the demon overlords. Obviously. Well, either, either that or I'm a bandit warlord and took the throne with my bandit army. It's kind of between those two, but I think obviously I am a, a, ban a, 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 I obviously sold my soul to Satan, uh, using demonic trickery to serve the overlord. Hence why we are the legislator. Uh, you were the courtier of a previous, of the previous, the legis, of the previous, the legislator. The, the there might screw us up, but that's fine. Um, your real allegiance is with the demonic overlord. After communing with him in your dreams, you managed to pull off a plot to have the, the legislator and companions killed along allowing you to rise to the throne to take your place in the name of the Overlord. Your only true goal is to see all kingdoms of the living collapse. I killed my previously ruling parent as a good... Uh, there, there is... That, that is an option, but it's just not immediately obvious. Um... Minus 10 public opinion due to dark rumors about you. One third of your soldiers and peasants have deserted and joined the rebels. Oh, plus 100 demons. Yay! Also, hey, J-Roy. Hope you've been good. <sighs> and, uh, there we go. Uh, you are invited to the royal crowning ceremony where you can learn of your newly inherited realm. Of course, you are the ruler of this kingdom and can also ignore the ceremony completely. Do we go to the ceremony chat? Or do we skip it? Just quickly looking. I'm just going to grab us some, some evil sounding music real quick. because we need some background noise here. I 
I actually can't find my music folder. <laughs> there it is. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> you are invited to the royal crowning ceremony, where you can learn of your newly inherited realm. Of course, you are the ruler of this kingdom and can ignore the ceremony completely. Of course we shall attend this pathetic mortal gathering. You enter what is now your throne room for the first time. There are small crowds of people who are gathered to see their new the Legislator. Orange, thank you very much for gifting a sub to, sub to Bobtron. Good to have you around, Bob. Seriously, thanks for hanging out. As you take a moment to observe the room, the High General of the Great Loophole of Behind the Wall of Red Tape approaches. General Gorn Packner says, well met to you, my legislator. Now you shall, now I shall crown you on orders of the demon overlord as the new legis, as the new legislator of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. You are sent here by the demonic overlord of an extra dimensional being of great power who seeks to control this realm once again. We shall hold this land and await the rise of the demon overlord's army from within the southern gates. You shall commune with the demon overlord through the black mirror in the throne room. Uh, Satan. Yada yada heavy metal is the, the, the background story. Alien Slayer. You are now the legislator of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. Long may you reign. At least until the demons don't need you anymore. Uh, you are, you, now you will most certainly wish to know the state of the realm. The great loophole behind the wall of red tapes, five territorial holdings make great threat to others. The kingdom's personal army consists of 333 peasant pathetic workers, 133 soldiers, five loyal and five loyal knights who serve your cause. That's all for military matters. As for the realm's finances, the kingdom has a total of 2,000 gold in its coffers, which is insignificant, but there's also an additional 1,685 gold in the bank, which we can rob. Um, the legis- my legislator. My the legislator. Jesus, I'm- I fucked this up. Legislator, now you- now that you are crowned, you may speak to the old Kroll, if you wish, for any tutoring on matters of the realm. You are- if you are unsure of what to do, I would highly recommend it. Though, if you would like to discuss it later, you may do so by returning to the throne room. Skip it, because I know how what the, what the fuck this guy talks about. Actually, you know what? Let's speak to the old crow, because this is kind of funny. Welcome, my legislator. Prepare yourself for the good tutoring. Firstly, I must ask you if you'd prefer me explain things. I could give you full explanation with every detail, a fair explanation with less of the detail, and if you wish, I could give you a version with simple, so simple that me a child could understand it. Give me the simple version of the tutorial, please. <clears throat> Explore menu, do things you win. <clears throat> Top menu, show gold, show lands is help. Um, hire men, fight men, you win. Move to next section. Uh, hire mercs, kill mercs, kill enemies, you win. Move to next section. Uh, hire staff, staff work, you win. <clears throat> um, arrange diplomacy. Make friends. Friends trade, you win. Make laws, imprison everyone, you <laughs> win. That's, that's how laws work. You make laws and, um... Uh, imprison everyone and you win. Move to the next section of kingdom upgrades. Uh, buy buildings, use them, and you win. This is very good advice game. Yes. Very success. Much win. Only win, no lose. All lose, bad. Um, yes. I should convince Evil Trick to play this game because I think he'd like it. I, I, uh, Chad, do you guys think Evil Trick would like this game? I think Evil Trick might like this. Anyway. Um, 
Kingdom upgrades. Uh, uh, buy buildings, use them, you win. Mm -hmm. uh, visit the throne room. Hire steward, ignore throne room, you win. Which is probably what we'll do. Narrate game, entertain viewers, you win. Well, I, I, uh, in, it's more like narrate game, entertain viewers, get money. Maybe not win necessarily. I, I might still lose, but that, that, that's fine. Hi, Jousecraft. <laughs> uh, visit the local fight pit. Bet gold. Your guy wins. You win. Um, or you lose if your guy lose. But then you kill guy who won and take the money anyway and burn down the fight pit. Um, the, visit the Royal Bank. Store gold. Savings grow. You win. Just like Bitcoin. Wait. Uh, visit other buildings. Build buildings. Visit them. You win. The next part of the tutorial is uh, Kingdom Reports. Uh, read reports. Understand more. You win. This is the best tutorial ever. Uh, explore land. Discover all. You win. There's actually quite a lot of detail to this stuff. Um, end turn. Invade enemy. You win. <laughs> I definitely did not say visit the local fuck pit, but that's more like long death, actually. All right. Very well, my legislator. Now that every th now that's everything. Would you like to review any areas of the tutoring again? No, I am done with the tutorial. This is all baby shit. Uh, very well, take care, my legislator. That was kind of good timing for the music cut. Um, all right, so this is the game. We made it. <laughs> we made it. You're up. You're up. Five bucks. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah. I'm up more than five bucks, but. Um, I'm also not invested in Ethereum. I'm in ADA. Cardano. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to just sit here and talk about crypto because I know some people don't like it. Anyway, uh, what are we doing? Um, hmm. Right after the tutorial, is this all text-based? Yeah, uh, Zoloro. Uh, it literally runs in terminal. Looks like this to me. Um, this is a text-based kingdom management game. And it's uh, like... Eight bucks. It's it's great. I also, uh, in, if you're interested, there's an interview with the developer on my YouTube channel that I did uh, like two months ago now. Um, yeah, it's it's a solo dev. Pretty cool story. Wow, nice crown. Yeah, please bow. <laughs> Thanks. Are you still alive in the walls? Yes. That dwarf is still alive in the walls. Can confirm. I was thinking about dumping some water on them because they don't need to breathe. Uh, you invested in Doge and you're down like 100 bucks? That's not investing. That's meme throwing money at a wall. That's like the equivalent of throwing money in the toilet. Like, you know, you could do it. You could call it investing, but you're buying a meme. Um, don't buy meme stocks, kids. All right. Um, mine Dogecoin. You invested in ADA and you're down $40? You invest, well, you invest on a bad time. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's okay. It'll go back up. Don't worry. Don't worry. To the moon, as they say. Um, where were we? <laughs> let's explore the realm. Southern gates is where the demon armies come. So let's go to the southern lands. So this is one of the things you can do in this game. Um, you can go exploring the lands. Uh, the Parched Lands is an unfathomably warm place. It is full of dry rock and hard sands. Little life survives, but there is a rumor that of demonic whispers here, but no one knows the truth. Well, as, uh, servants of the demonic overlord, we know exactly what's here. Demons. So, we're gonna go on a walk. Uh, we go for a walk. Whispering winds to the south leads you in circles. Boo! Uh, we go on another walk. You wander across a patch of barren land that could be made more arable if the land, if you had the means to terraform it. Plus one barren land. We found Fork Kulak. It's filled with bandits. And I have, that's all my movement. Fort Kulak is an old bandit fortress that belongs to Gore the Bastard. Did he gore the bastard, or is gore a bastard? Anyway, gore the bastard. The fort is garrisoned, and they won't give up without blood or gold. Attack fort. They have roughly 500 bandits, uh, or 50,000 gold. Let's try and speak with them. Adio! 
48 months, tier 3. I thought I did this. Uh, it's that day again, though. So you gotta do this again. Yeah, it's next month already. Check your, check your hat. Four years, dude! Four years! Hobo is no longer only king. Hobo was the first person to get it, but yeah. Four years, man. Four years. Four, that's, it's been four years. It's been four years. Good God. Anyway. Bow to the kings, my friends. Don't worry, they'll be decrowned next. <laughs> the next one is no hat. So, and then they get to work through the hats again. With glasses. Anyway. Um, we're going to try to speak to the bandits here. You tried to initiate a conversation with one of the wall-watching bandits, but they stay silent and stay, and stay down at, at, at your from the walls? That's a... At your from the walls? That's a, a typo. Well, uh, ask to speak to Gore the Bastard. Um, you shout that you wish to meet Gore the Bastard, and uh, a voice shouts back, How about no? Okay. Okay. Well, that's all the exploring we can do for today. Let's back up. Uh, obviously, since we are evil, we are going to visit the local arena. You enter the little arena. It is a sizable venue where warriors come to battle and locals pay to watch and bet. The arena is owned and recently inherited by a person named Puzzard the Regretful. The entry fee to watch the fight is two gold. Bet on a fight is two gold entry fee plus 1.5 times your bet. You pay the two gold fee to watch the fight. Who would you like you? Okay, chat. Who do we place our bet on? Horned Fire Pirate... The Horned Fire Master Pyromancer or Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder? Do we bet on the Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick, stick Wielder or Horned fi Fire Master Pyromancer? Horned Fire Master Pyromancer. Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder. Uh, it's okay. Don't don't feel bad, B-Lug or Hobo, because my mom has more hours than both of you. <laughs> Just remember that. My mom has more hours than both of you. The wheelie gets the fiery stick and wins. I'm going to bet on the Horned Fire Master Pyromancer. How much gold do you want to bet? Obviously. Ob obvious. This is the entire... This is the entirety of my uh, faction's money. I'll have you know, chat. So no, I'm not all in. I'm going to invest 6-6 meme. Chat, what, what will you do if I all in then? Come on. Like, seriously. What, what will you do if I all in? Meme is good? That's what I think. I mean, come on. Crypt Metal. Restart? I mean... This lets us bet more than once. You used to be rich? Well, so did I. <clears throat> um, you, Jack, can I get a round of beers for Peter? He used to be rich. You l bet 666 gold. You'll donate a sub? I mean, we can bet a second time, probably. The Horned Fire, Fire Master Pyromancer versus Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder. The crowd scream and shout as the two fighters emerge and begin the long walk into the center of the arena. The moment is tense and they get ever closer until they are about until they are almost in reach. The crowd awaits eagerly for the first blow. The horned fire That's all I have to say. Thank you. For gifting a sub orange, you're awesome. Uh, the Horned Fire Master Pyromancer and Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder get caught up in a parry that all that breaks almost instantly. The Horned Fire Master Pyromancer and the Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder are caught in a parry that, but the F Horned Fire Master Pyromancer easily breaks the parry and gets in a great hit. The Horned Fire Master Pyromancer gets a dazzling strike on the Vagrant Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder, and the Vagrant. Warborn primitive stick wielder is defeated, and the crowd wars and chants, and the horned fire master pyromancer leaves victorious. You won 999 gold from your bet.
Hell yeah. Let's uh let's bet on another fight. All right, you you, you did it. So um we'll. Hmm. So now this fight is a another warborn primitive stick wielder versus a dune, Dane, the plagued underlord. So a sick underlord, or a warborn primitive stick wielder. That could go either way. I'm not too... I don't know what the base stats of a Underlord is off the top of my head. So Orange wants uh, Underlord? All right. <sighs> do I have to bet it all? Do, 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 do I have to? All in or no balls. You bet 2,329 gold. The Warborn Primitive Stick build Wielder versus Dane the Plagued Underlord. The crowds scream and shout and the two warriors emerge. The crowds cheer and the other intent... Cheer... Tr the, the, blah, the two warriors emerge and charge towards each other intent to kill. There is much tension and anticipation in the air. And we won. After a long battle, Dane the Plagued Underlord kicks the Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder over. Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder falls lifeless from the kick. Kicked in the head. Fuck yeah. The Warborn Primitive Stick Wielder is defeated. The crowd wars and chant, roars and chants, and the Dane of the Plagued Underlord leaves victorious. You won 3,494 gold from your bet. That was a very close fight. All right, that's enough. Um, speak to the local patron of the arena. Seen some go from poor to rich to poor again. In the space of a few fights, be wise, says random patron. Uh, who's the grand champion? Catherine the Unstoppable Conqueror is the current grand champion of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. Having recently assumed the title as he has no wins <laughs> to his name but will soon fight his debut fight as grand champion sure no i didn't think he would win i didn't uh let's 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 let, let's watch the grand champion fight it was literally just like a, a nightmare of bullshit that we came up as chat. So Zaloro, that's that's chat. So you can do it. You can steal that and do what you want with it. Uh, Catherine the Unstoppable versus Haggard Hijack. <laughs> okay, so Catherine the Unstoppable Conqueror versus Haggard the Hygienic. I'm not betting on this fight to be clear. The Grand Champion of our faction has not ever won a fight, meaning somebody recently got assassinated probably in the background simulation. Um, the, the ground, the crowd scream and shout as the two warriors emerge and charge towards each other, intent to kill. There is much tension and anticipation in the air. And, you know, our, our, I guess our tra grand champion is now keeping their title because they won. They do also get longer titles over time. Your grand champion, Stinkenstein. You know, it's funny because this game could probably generate that. <laughs> Squag. It, like, this game has that kind of sense of humor. And, like, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I like how, um, if he was the unhygienic, he might have actually won. Catherine the Unstonkable Conqueror strikes Haggard the Hygienic on the head with a great force. And Haggard the Hygienic is defeated. The crowd wars and chants for Catherine the Unstoppable Conqueror as he leaves victorious. Catherine the Unstoppable Conqueror wins. I swear there's more to this game than this. Grand Champion Statistics. Strength 105. That's actually really fucking weak. <laughs> Let's read about their backstory. Me. I was... I was come from the wild man, Wilderman land, me. I am good warrior of Wilderman. I am, but I am not savage, not smart with word, but not savage. I am loyal. <laughs> All right. That's a very good backstory. 
uh, Catherine, the Unstoppable Conquerors. I like how it's Conquerors, like there's multiples of them. Um, hasn't won any grand tournament wins. The grand champion lives in a small townhouse on the outskirts of where the arena is located. It is small, humble accommodation that one can only hope is temporary. Yeah, no, you're right. Zalara, I know. All right, us, the evil demon overlords, uh, shall back out of the uh, arena for for right now, um, and let's let's go to let's let's have a, a, a have a have a gander at the laws of the land and see what the taxes situation looks like because clearly we're not taxing them enough. Um, so uh, I can remove the gambling tax and bet higher. <laughs> uh, I could uh, bank taxes, uh, banking tax, sweet minus one public opinion. Um, uh, subsidize arena betting higher tests one k per year. Um, I'm not gonna tax tax. Taxing the tax is mean because tax people's tax equals more tax plus more tax taxes. Just that's just like we're evil and all and like you know hailing Satan. But evil policies, which is a special thing because we are demons, uh, declare pillaging. Your soldiers can rob peasants. Uh, you get a cut. Declare a curfew. More arrests. Uh, breathing tax. <laughs> Extra money from people. Uh, declare a walking tax. Uh, we can declare the great loophole behind the wall of red tape a slave kingdom and enslave all of the people. Probably not a good thing to do right now. Um, isn't that just a breathing tax, uh, Orange? Probably not the best idea because we're already not popular and I shouldn't make myself less popular. Um... Just until we have more demons. Once we have more demons, then we can do whatever the fuck we want. Um, demonic laws. Uh, the demonic horde is too weak for any policy currently. God damn it. All right. Fair enough. Um, let's check other laws. Uh, bandit scourge offer five reward, uh, five, five gold reward for bandits. Longer harvest hours. Peasants work hard. Issues may arise. Uh, forgive outlaws. Allow uh, outlaws back in your society. Force everyone to wear hats. <laughs> No real reason. <laughs> Force everyone to wear hats. Uh, declare a different number uh, for our current year. Uh, I can rename the kingdom. I can change my normal title. I'm actually going to change my royal title to just a legislator. Um, uh, because it's uh, reading the the legislator is just too difficult. Um, so we're, we're now just the legislator. Uh, change your person. You have no slaves or soldiers to free. Well, all right. Uh, celebrations. Do we declare a celebration? What's the demonic law? There's a lot of fun shit in de demonic law, but we need more demons first. We currently only have 100 demons. We need more demons. Uh, crime policies. Uh, your scribe pulls out a scroll of crime and prison policies and prepares to make amendments to it. Um, close the prison, set prisoners free. Declare mass execution law. It keeps prison population low. Uh, dear, declare, declare rehabilitation law. Uh, allow overzealous re arrests. I don't see any problem with overzealous arrests, <clears throat> but that does upset some people. Describe notes down your demands on a scroll and heads off to the act to action them. Uh, you are allowed, you, you have allowed overzealous arrests. Now your guards do not have a reason to indefinite, to, to indefinitely arrest people. Uh, do not need a reason to indefinitely arrest people. The people fear you and your ruling strikes a blow on the, to the freedom of the common man. Good. Uh, as, uh, as, as Satan wishes. <clears throat> Celebrate, wait, what? I mean, I could make a tax celebration. We can name a celebration whatever the fuck we want. Um, you know, we probably need a celebration, actually, because everybody's going to hate us. So let's declare a new celebration, and we shall call it Hail the Great Demon. Uh, Chad, what, 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 what should we, we name our celebration? I just, I want some ideas. I'm open to any ideas here. Literally any idea. Hail not being a poor peasant day? Uh. Halius Satanus? From the pinnacle to the pit? Are, are we just gonna, like, like, 
make a celebration that's just a bunch of ghost lyrics because like that's also totally an option <laughs> uh, it's just like a, a a fucking line from dance macabre um or or uh square i mean Should I include the smiley <laughs> or nah? Hail Satan, the, the, the clock. Yeah, hail Satan. <laughs> yeah, Satin Day. Yes. Okay, Square Hammer Day. Exclamation point D. Um, every two years, every three years, every four years. Let's do, let's do every two years and just make it like everybody get really drunk so that we arrest everybody. Um, obviously, we're going to have uh, sacrifices. Um, shit, burning of celebratory fires. Uh, chat. What? What's the last one I should add? Are you ready to swear right here, right now, for the devil? People getting drunk. People getting drunk is uh, okay. 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 And what's even better is we have overzealous arrests, right? So, you know what we could do? We could free all prisoners. <laughs> have overzealous arrests, piss everybody off, and then once every... Actually, you know, maybe once every 10 years, we'll just do a release all prisoners. I, th I, think, I think that's what we'll do. So, um... Once every two years, we have sacrifices, getting people drunk, and burning celebratory fires. Um, <laughs> why would I cancel the celebration of Hail Square Hammer Day? D. <laughs> Shoutouts to Hail Square Hammer Day. Um, all right, what else do we need to do? Social policies. Uh, Elms for the poor. <laughs> Give money to the poor, my ass. They can earn that money themselves. Your scribe pulls out a scroll of social policies and prepares to make amendments to it. Hire... Hire the love cult to increase public order. Smile. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. We don't need to worry about any of that. Mercenary policies. Outlaw. Mercenary companies. Regular mercenary companies. Large mercenary group. Uh, four small mercenary groups. Nah, there's nothing I can do there right now. Goblin policies. Chat, do we like gubbins? They're cheap and... Uh, they're, they're basically just like... The Borg's the wrong word. They're like Zerglings, basically. Do we like gubbins? The the last the last game we did of this, um, we we named our entire faction after greens, um, at vegetables, and the whole goal was like we tried to integrate goblins into human society, and it sort of worked. We only got assassinated at the end. Spoilers, uh, but you know it sort of worked. It sort of worked. Yeah, they're free labor. Well, cheap labor. Um, yeah, you know we'll just we'll just leave that, and just enslave lots of goblins. Uh, recruitment and training. Uh, free enlistment, declare forceful enlistment. Gain lots of peasants each turn. Uh, declare forceful enlistment. There we go. Excellent. Um, and taxes and subsidies. Uh, yes, we already did that. Perfect. Um, well, uh, now I think it's it's time for us to, um, you know, uh, visit the throne room. Now, the throne room is kind of funky because people walk into the throne room to speak to you um, because we are the... The, the 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 legislator um as appointed by the the our great and dark royal god demon um his royal highness satan uh so because we are a a demon king do we or not king but legislator do we uh listen to what the people have to say or do we just put somebody in charge to fucking deal with that shit for us what do you think chat welcome to your throne room here you can deal with visitors from across your realm and beyond. As time goes by, you may find a number of visitors swelling to huge lines. As a ruler, you may choose to deal with every last visitor. But if the task becomes too mon monotonous, you should look to hiring a steward. Stewards would deal with visitors left unseen by you at the end of the turn. You, you mean Necrogoblin? Goblin Slayer is an anime, but Necrogoblicon also works. Bum, 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 bum,
bum, bum. Sorry, I, I need to like pause for a second. I've been like Necrogoblicon. Wait, have you never heard of Necrogoblicon? Orange. Shame on you. That band needs a gimmick, man. Yeah, it's literally Necrogoblicon. <laughs> Basically, Necrogoblicon is like a kind of a thrash slash death metal band with a goblin. There's, It's just a short dude in a goblin suit who just screams and runs around and vomits and stuff. It's kind of great. <laughs> it's, it's an actual band. You can go look them up. Necrogoblicon. Um, all right. Be careful who you hire as your steward, though. Stewards can have a number of uh, different traits that affect how they manage and deal with the throne room visitors. The traits are xenophobe, will uh, be unfavorable towards non-humans. Dungeoneer, will imprison most throne room visitors. Hmm. Kind-hearted, will always act with kindness. Military, will always recruit any hireable soldiers. Goblin fiend, will always be nice to... Goblin friend, will always be nice to goblin visitors. Money grabber, will never spend any money. He just vibes. I thought he does. I thought he does backing stuffs every now and again. I know he, he mostly just vibes, but although we need a gimmick is probably one of my favorite songs ever, just because of that. Because you're uncultured and listen to shit music. Hold on a second. Well, let, I mean, I'm not gonna say that Necrogoblicon isn't shit music, but Yeah, I think we need a xenophobe. St well, actually, it's. I, I think we need a dungeoneer steward, is what we need. You enter the throne room and take your place on the throne of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. You are told that there is a small line of 18 people waiting to see you. Send in the next visitor. You are visited by a horned fire novice pyromancer, Mirin's Domain, from Mirin's Domain, who seeks refuge. Having been mistreated. Of course. Welcome to the welcome to our army. Go set some shit on fire, please. I don't know. I feel like horned fire novice necromancers, um, or horned fire necromancers would fit in real well with a demon army. I'm just I'm just saying. Uh send in the next visitor. Uh, you are visited by a group of drunk men singing unintelligible songs and swaying side by side. To the dungeons with them! <clears throat> a drunk man enters the court, sobbing. I spilled my last drink, my legislator. I know this is rather a trivial matter but for visiting your court, but I know that you understand how devastating this is. Get this man an ale. <clears throat> Plus one public opinion. Chat, can I get a round of beers for that man's ale? I need you guys to provide the ale. I mean, you guys paid for it in hype trains earlier. Anyway, uh, send in the next visitor. You are visited by a hiccuping drunk man who says, Great one, thanks for allowing us this wondrous celebration before falling asleep on the court. Um, have the man dropped off on a nearby hay bale. <laughs> drunk man laughs and stumbles out of your court. Send in the next visitor. Zoltan, the bane of vampires, a messenger. You are visited by the horned fireman pyromancer from Mirwin's domain, carrying the message that Dayach Nag, the goulash, wishes you a wonderful hail square hammer day. I think we have found some new friends in these fire pyromancers. What do you think, chat? Thank him. The horned fireman, fire, the horned fire pyromancer from Mirwin's domain leaves happy. Send in the next visitor. You are visited by a smith who says... A dispute needs to be settled. A little child stole my forging hammer and broke it. His father is a known local thug, so there's little chance of recourse unless someone like you gets involved. Chat, you deal with this one. What do we think? You can't spend fr spell friend without fire. I'm just saying. To the dungeons with him? I mean... Local thug seems pretty chill. I don't know about you. I, I'm kind of leaning too. 
This is not legislator matters. Yeah, true. You're you're not wrong. But I I think I I think I'm leaning option two. Buy yourself a new hammer and leave me out of it. The smith nods and leaves. Send in the next visitor. A drunk man enters the court, sobbing that he spilled his last drink. Uh, well, I mean, you literally were just here, so to the dungeons. Rumors of your cruelty spread. Excellent. Plus one prisoner. Uh, soon enough, we'll get better whips for the prison to make them do more labor faster and build us some roads. Um, then we'll let them all go, and then they can go cause crime, and it'll be brilliant. Then we'll put them back in prison and charge people money for keeping the prison running, because prisons are expensive. God. Uh, send in the next visitor. You are visited by a bubbling jest a budding jester who says, Hello. Uh, I'm really nervous, but I I, I thought... What? 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 What, what, what better person to tell my first joke than <clears throat> uh, my ruler? But now I see that that was clearly a mistake. Chat, do we listen to his joke? Neil, thanks for those. We listen to the joke. We smile and nod and listen to the joke. A gnome became an arena champion. All records say that he dwarfed his competitors. Not gonna lie, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, should we hire him? What do you think? Well, uh, this one's up to you, Chad. I know, right? It's like I actually like I I, 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 I smiled. Like I it 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 got me a little bit. That joke was terrible. Here, have a job. <laughs> let's let's. That joke was good enough here. Have my, do we hire him or do we just give him some money and tell him to fuck off? What do you think, chat? Hire him, fuck off, or uh, hire him? That was an okay joke. I mean, it was an okay joke. Hire him? Chat wants to hire him? We're, we're, looks, seem, seems like we are... Uh, the jester says no, offering no reason for his refusal. Well, I mean, I too wouldn't want to work for Satan's, like, like assistance. So, you know, can I really blame him? Um, I think that we shall take a break from these fucking peasants and commune with the demon overlord. You visit the mirror of demons and see no reflection, only darkness. Let's speak to the mirror. You begin to speak to the mirror and suddenly a strange demonic sound fills the airways. And the conscious mind of the demon overlord appears in the mirror before you. His power is clear, and you can scarcely hold his gaze. And you feel as though the room is, um, burning. Guys, uh, get the fire extinguishers. Like, shit, this, this room's on fire! Um, uh, <clears throat> not actually. Um, I forgot that we named ourselves Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that we called ourselves Letter. <laughs> anyway, uh, for what have you summoned me, Leonard? <laughs> Fucking Leonard, right? Um, chat, why did we summon the demon guy again? Ominous sounds. Leonard, the legislator. Yes, I'm a legislator. <clears throat> Investments are open, by the way. Um, I mean, we need more demons. So, um, I need more demon. Oh. Uh, what happens once we've conquered the lands? Well, that's very cheerful. Uh, tell me of the demonic horde. The word is only beginning, no matter. I am eternal. Uh, how can we help the cause? Oi. I need more demons? But I really need more demons. Please? Uh, we'll, we'll leave the mirror. Let's stare at the mirror. You stare into the mirror of demons, but you see no reflection, only darkness. A darkness so deep 
that in staring at it for a mere moment, you find yourself defeated, feeling as though life is a burden and all things must come to an end. Naturally. Step away from the mirror. He does indeed have a voice acting. <laughs> this is accurate. He does have a voice acting. You know, someone needs to draw Leonard, our evil uh, demonic legislator. I kind of imagine Leonard is like somebody from the office who's just like constantly like just shaking in fear with like weird medieval spectacles and like a notepad but like also is totally a fucking asshole. You know you know that kind of stereotype? You know what I'm talking about? That's kind of how I'm imagining Leonard. <laughs> At least investment wise. Oh yeah, no, you two are definitely married. Into our fortress. Um, we, we shall go back to the throne room. There's still 10 more peasants <clears throat> to uh, deal with. You are visited by a traveling bard who asks to show you the singing ways of the gold orcish. For the price of 1,020 gold, I am an expert musician, and I shall play you a lengthy song. That's... Okay, let's ask you of your origins. I am a member of the great prestigious musicians guild. What is your name? The grunter reveals his name to be... <clears throat> um, ask him his name again. <laughs> Hasn't changed since you last asked. That's a lot. That's way too much money. That's far and away the most money I've ever seen from a bard. Good wins. Rip to everybody who invested 666. Uh, I'm going to let him leave my court. Um... You are approached by a man who claims to be a messenger from Fanor, leader of the bandit horde. He says, You are a bandit king, and your rule over your people appears to be as wild and unlawful as Fanor's. He offers you a truce. Whoa! Hmm. My knee-jerk reaction is accept the truce. And try and buy these guys out. So I'm going to try and do that. You are now truced with the bandit horde. <laughs> the messenger thanks you and wishes you luck in your pillaging. Because we've legalized pillaging, by the way. <laughs> we've, we've legalized raping and pillaging already. So, you know, we're off to a great start. Leonard, you know, definitely like a good guy. Or should Leonard be, uh, be gray like the dwarves? I mean, you can make Leonard look however you want if you want to make Leonard look like Leonard. Um, you should look kind of ASCII, though. That's all I ASCII. Uh, that was a bad pun, and I'm sorry. Um, send in the next visitor. You are visited by a drunk man who says, Hey! <laughs> you're the guy who <laughs> made... <laughs> <squ> <laughs> 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 sorry. Hail Square Hammer Day. <laughs> D, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank <laughs> for... <laughs> op <laughs> drunk, I normally get... <laughs> you're the best. He vomits on the way out. Um, a drunk man enters your court and seemingly oblivious to the presence of yourself and the court begins to urinate on one of the walls. Putting his hands on his hips for good measure, after a good two minutes of urination, he looks up to see your whole court and smiles and shouts, I'll square every day. Smile before leaving. Stumbling towards the exit. Do nothing. <laughs> a drunk man enters the court and declares he wishes to challenge you to a drinking contest. Hmm. On this one? That's fine. I was just... I had to make the pun. Stone. Oh, the pisser? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, just, I, I was powering through these a little too fast. I don't know what this one. We could just have him drink every drink in the room. Your evil one run was to the dungeons with everything? Huh. I mean, the first option here is actually pretty evil, all things considered. The first option here is actually pretty evil. Potentially. 
Thank you for the celebration. To the dungeons! How dare you speak to me? Have your guards make him drink every drink in the room. Uh, the man is awoken, still drunk. Your guards proceed to gather all of the drinks in the room and force him to drink them all. He complies until he passes out, whereby they open his mouth to pour them down his throat until he chokes to death. You are visited by a drunk man who has obnoxiously large cup made of wood filled with mead. He says he will drink the entire cup to your honor. <clears throat> chug, 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 chug. The drunk effortlessly drinks the entire cup to the applause of the whole court. You are visited by a drunk man who stumbles into your throne room and begins singing. But he is very drunk, and his singing is terrible. He seems to be enjoying himself, though. To the dungeons with him! He can sing to the people in the dungeons. Plus one prisoner! Yay! Uh, a pair of drunk men enter your court and begin simultaneous tirades. They appear to be asking you to resolve a dispute. This is not my business. To the dungeons with them. Plus two prisoners. Nobody gives a shit. You are visited by a drunk man who bows before you and says, Behold, O wise legislator, I am the ale master. Witness! And then he clicks his fingers and a meat goblin rolls out a barrel of ale into your court. The man lays down ten goblets of ale and the goblin fills them. Chug. 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 Yeah, because we, we're, we're throwing the celebration of Hail the Square Hammer, D. <laughs> we, you were here for that, I'm pretty sure. Chug. Chug, chug, the drunk effortlessly drinks the cup after cup after cup to the applause of the whole court. There is one more visitor. Uh, a crooked man, a cloaked man, arrives in your court and appears to be a changeling. He can change his face for a gold coin. Um, ask him how he's able to change his face. The secret of the changeling is closely guarded. The answers lie to the east. You may leave. To the dungeons with him! <clears throat> uh, minus one public opinion. Thanks for the information. See ya, nerd! Uh, Alright, what else can we do? I think that's pretty much it. Everybody hates us. Excellent. Recruit some soldiers. Uh, hire units. Uh, hire peasants. All 42. Um, hire soldiers from local guilds. We got 1,400 gold. Brander, buddy, what up? Is yours not? <laughs> yeah, that's the correct answer. Um, get more goblins? Right. Uh, hire goblin slavers. One, seven, two. Now I have no money left. Um, so I'm going to take my last 24 gold, and we're going to go bet on an arena fight. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's go to the arena. Uh, bet on a fight. Okay, chat. Who would we like to bet on? The Blood Naga or the Drylands Nomad? Chat, what do you guys think that Leonard the Legislator wears? You guys helped me come up with him, so what do you guys think uh, Leonard the Legislator wears? The Blood Naga? Blood Naga? Blood Naga? Okay. Um, obviously, we're going to bet all 22 of my fucking coins because it's all I got. The gates slide open and the two fighters emerge readily, readily from the gates. The crowd is electric and their chanting can be heard from miles around. The warriors charge in and prepare for death. Blood Naga versus the Drylands Nomad. Strike the forehead? I don't know. Uh, the Drylands Nomad blocks the Blood Naga. The Blood Naga manages to get a little hit in on the Drylands Nomad's head. The Drylands Nomad blocks the Blood Naga's hit. Blocks and hits the Blood Naga. The Blood Naga gets a meager hit on the Drylands Nomad. The Drylands Nomad swigs for the Blood Naga but misses only slightly. The Drylands Nomad gets a great hit on the Blood Naga and knocks him dead. It's all over. The Blood Naga is defeated. We lose our bet. I mean... <laughs> That's fine. Exit. And, uh, end the current year. My legislator. Wait, actually, no. I, mm, fuck, I forgot something. Oh, well, that's fine. It's too late. Um, I'm tr a truce with the bandit horde. Let's attack the rebels. We'll attack the rebels, because we need to deal with our rebels problem first. 
Uh, I'm going to worry about the uh, other people later. But we are at Truce with the Bandit Horde, which is really nice. It means they, they won't totally, you know, murder all of my stuff and pillage all of my peoples. Um, General Gohorn Packner says, A day will come where the rebellion is no more. Um, let's just skirmish. And uh, send in half of my troops. General Guhorn Pachner says, A skirmish is a good way to weaken the enemy with little risk. A wise choice indeed. Your men arrive at the rebels' territory and prepare for battle. There is... There will, that will soon take place. As you head forward, you spot a rebel camp. The enemy quickly emerges, and the battle begins. The skirmish was a great success. Your men bask in glory. Rebels' losses, 583. Your losses, 98. You have 298 men remaining. Ex Malente. One of my demons were killed. Oh, no. I lost quite a few demons. Shit. But those demons did a lot of did a lot of the murdering, so that's good. You receive a report on the holdings on of last year. You can read through in detail. Uh, let's uh, read the advanced report. <clears throat> Kingdom report: tributes and taxes. You receive 179 gold in rents from your five lands. You receive 292 gold from your bank tax law. Excellent. You receive 978 gold from your gambling tax law. Oh, nice. Perfect. You receive 200, 2,185 gold from general taxes. Perfect. You receive 607 gold in tributes from Kered, the goblin slaver. Perfect. Your peasants earn you 58 gold from this year's harvest. Awesome. Uh, you earned two gold interest from your 1,685 stored gold. Due to overzealous arrests, public opinion dropped by two. Well... Say la vie. Um, you enlist 57 peasants from your five lands. Your demon overlord sends you 20 demons to assist in conquering the realm. Excellent. Your kings, your knights train 10 peasants into soldiers. You pay 50 in wages to the old kroll. Fuck that old weirdo. Um, and uh, you pay 70 in wages to Gaharin Paknur, the general. You pay 81 in wages to your soldiers, 6 in wages to your knights, and demons don't get money because they are awesome. Uh, in the militia recruits 60 new peasants this year. Battle reports. The great loophole behind the wall of Red Skirmish with the rebels and uh, the tribe of minor, minor trolls invaded the land of Erek and the tribe of Warborn Portal Fork invade the lands of Krut. Your treasury is increased by 4,092 gold and your bank is increased by 2 gold in interest. Um, I need to get me some water, <laughs> so, uh, let's move on. I need to get me some water, um, because there's a lot of, like, shouting in this game. I will be back in a moment. You know, I, I, while I like your image, Minsadi, that's not quite the image I'm getting. I'm thinking more just like kind of like, y y you know, like a, a humble priest who like, um, or like a government official kind of gets wrapped up in something you didn't quite expect. I'm kind of thinking that, you know, like uh, is in over his head kind of deal, you know? Kind of dealio. All right. So we're in year two. <clears throat> Let's go arrange diplomacy. The diplomat, old crow, hold, hold on. <clears throat> uh, manage staff, head diplomat, um, fire diplomat. <laughs> wow, my diplomacy not a good enough for my legislator? I guess uh, I'm off to improve then. He um, assassinated me the last time I played this, so fuck that guy. Um, I'm going to hire uh, a diplomat. Three potential diplomats are sent to your court. You may speak with each of them and learn their skills and talents. Azrin the Fool, Bariner the Fool, and Azil the Noble. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Hello, I am named Azrin the Fool. I am immediately regretting this voice because it's really hard to do. 
I am the a journey. I'm gonna stop doing this. I am a journeyman of the real, of the realm of diplomacy. Uh, it would be a great honor to serve you. I require a payment of 155 gold per year. Okay. Burner the Fool. I am Burner the Fool. I read 50 books. On, I have read 50 books on diplomacy and I feel very knowledgeable. I will serve you as loyally as I can. I beg for 213 gold per year. Okay. And, uh, hello, I'm Azel the Noble. I'm a journeyman in the realm of diplomacy. I was born ready f to work for you and I, you will pay me 79 gold per year. Chad, who do we hire? I mean, Azel the Noble seems the best. He very cheap. I keep getting welcomed to the chat room, by the way. So if anybody's having connection issues, I I'd be curious to know. Why the fuck is the Noble the cheapest? Good question. Because the other two are fools, maybe? I don't know. You don't trust them? I mean, we can train them. You don't trust him either. Man, nobody trusts the uh, the richling, eh? Nobody trusts the noble. But he's noble. Hmm. You don't trust any of them, the noble at least. I... 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 I mean, I don't want to pay for the other <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, Baron of the Fool did read 50 books on diplomacy. Um, and probably War and Peace at least halfway through. Um, so, I mean, that's got to go for something. R r right? I mean, what, the Fool or the Noble? Which one sounds perfect for an evil kingdom? Can we simply not have a head diplomat? Then I can't do any diplomacy. Um, so, no? I mean, we could wait a year. Um, and then hire a diplomat next year. That's also an option. I'm not going to lie. I, I really like this game, but streaming it is bloody exhausting. Just checking discords and such. Ooh. I'm sorry, but I, I got to show this off. That's a really good screenshot, Fog. I don't know if Fog's still here, but I think he went to bed, but that's a real good screenshot. Halcyon Frequency Discord, exclamation point HFD. I don't even play Minecraft, but that, that shit looks cool. You currently have 4,092 coins. Um... Fuck it. Let's hire Burner the Fool. Burner the Fool. I have read 50 books. Hire him. There we go. We have Burner the Fool. Um, I think we need a Spy Master. <clears throat> the three potential Spy Masters are sent to your court. You may speak with each of them to learn their skills and talents. You have 3,879 gold coins. Sir, Sir Nuts? I'm assuming the K is silent in that. Sir Nut, Castle Stormer, Coborn Chainlord, and Baldric Sheep Chaser. See <clears> how he bites off the shell to get at the nut? Yeah, we, we're about to find out how he bites off the shell to get at the nut. <laughs> Just instantly hits says one. <laughs> uh, greetings, my name is Sir Nut, Castle Stormer. I have sought after many spy rulers. I have, I, I have sought after, sp I've sought after spy by many rulers. I, oh, I am a sought-after spy by many rulers. I can't read, apparently. Um, I may have been offered positions in many other courts. I expect my pay of 138 gold per year. I have a feeling, by the way, I'm, gonna, I'm going to fire my um, head diplomat pretty quick. 
Also, so Twitch is super busted right now and thinks that nobody is watching my stream, just so that you guys know. So if you're watching my stream, uh, I don't know, type in the word beer. Let's see how many beers we can get because Twitch doesn't think that any of you are here. <laughs> um, that's what's currently going on. Uh, three poten Okay, so the second one is Kerhorn Chain Lord. Not the best name. Uh, hello, I am Kerhorn Chain Lord. I have read every famous paper on spying and even written some. I promise to serve you well. I expect 130, 43 gold per year. Okay, and then the last one is Balric Sheep Chaser. Um, I am master of the art of spying. Please hire me. I am very poor right now and require a payment of 150 gold per year. Um, you know, I realize Sir Nut Castle Stormer is actually the worst, but I just, I can't... How in the world do we not... Higher Sir Nut Castle Stormer. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> We're calling him Sir Nut. Not Newt. I'm calling him Nut. Maybe in your world you call him that. But this isn't your world. This is our world. One that we generated for ourselves. So words can be pronounced any way I see fit. I am the legislator. I mean, we are the legislator after all. And uh, that tiny voice in our head named Stone, a.k.a. Seashores Wall, saying that that's not how you pronounce nut. I'm calling it nut. I don't care. We're hiring nut. <laughs> nut. The great king. Or the greatest spy master that we've ever hired. That's the, the second one I've hired, in fact. Um, all right. So, um, I mean, we should go explore the realm. To the southern lands. You find a trio of wandering knights arguing. One of them spots you and stops. Do you know who that is? That is Legislator Leonard. Le Le that is Legister Legislator Leonard. Legislator of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. The men bow to you and pledge their service. Plus three knights. Oh, nice. Uh, you pass by some unassuming rocks. As you peer closer, something catches your eye. You could have swear. The rocks had deep red eyes that were moving towards you. You can hear a low grumble. You look down for a second and then back again, and then back at the ground and then back to me. As you can see, the rocks isn't me. Uh, was it a mirage? Spooky. You keep exploring. You find a wandering group of 13 masterless peasants. Their leader steps forward and says his men will join you for no less than 18 gold each. That's pretty cheap, sure. All right, 787 men's. Can I possibly? I've got more men than they do. Let's attack Fort Kaluk. Send all of the men. <clears throat> General Parkner says, a skirmish is a good way to weaken the enemy with little risk. A wise choice indeed. Sir, Sir Nut Castlestormer says, I've done some spying and arranged some battle reports for my legislator. Uh, the great loophole behind the wall, red tape battle score, 2,214. The bandit's enemy battle score is 362. Good. We shall crush them. Kill all of those wimpy little bandits. Bandits? What bandits? I don't know what bandits you're talking about. This skirmish was a success and your men basking in glory. Uh, you have captured Fort Kilok. Uh, Ka Kulak? Kul Kulak. And receive word that Gore the Bastard has fled... Uh, with his riches, and left no trace. Oh, boo, we didn't get his riches. Well, Fort Kulak is under your control now. Um, do we, chat, do we demolish or put in a hero? You're giving us a bow tie? Excellent. I'm totally okay with this. Totally okay with this. Put in, put a hero in charge. Is what is what is what is what we're saying? Put a hero in charge. Okay, we shall put a hero in charge. So, to those of you who have never seen this game or heard of this game before, what do you think? Very curious. You don't have any heroes uh, to rule the Fort Kalak for you. I do want to hire one. Uh, yes. Um. Fuck. These dudes are expensive. Uh. I 
I mean, I could afford any of them. I like Sir Diggle, the Faceless Warden. Um... You know, let, let's do the pay a thousand gold for a new group of warriors to be brought for. Uh, no, that that's just a new group of these. Yeah, we'll, we'll do 18. You call forward one of your loyal knights who bows to you. It is customary for any knight to complete the trial. Order the trial to be arranged. You call forward one of your loyal knights and you bow. Okay, climb to the top of Mount Saroth and retrieve the stone, plus public opinion. Find me an artifact, plus gold. Uh, we need public opinion, so climb to the top of Mount Saroth and retrieve the stone. The knight is brought forward and explained his quest. Uh, he must make his way north to the great mountain of Saroth to scale to the top to retrieve a stone from it. Yeah! Your knight returns with several eyewitnesses and a rock clenched to be from the tip of Saroth. He says, it wasn't easy, but I am here. Rumor of your successful trial spread. Plus one public opinion. Um... A small ceremony. Uh, you peg the gold and arrange a small ceremony. And here, a sword is brought forth. Its blade is rested on Wisage's old, the old knight's left shoulder. Wisage, the old knight... Do you swear to protect the realm of the Great Loophole behind the wall of red tape? And all of its people? With your all of your soul? Because we have eaten it? Visage of the Old Knight nods and repeats the words. I promise to protect the realm of the Great Loophole of <laughs> behind the wall of red tape and its people. We now has champion. Visage of the Old Knight strikes his sword into the ground and says, Thank you, my legislator. I'm not going to get tired of my legislator anytime soon. Uh, he then puts up and heads, uh, puts up and hand, he heads of your court. He then puts up and he heads of your court to take up the position of the first champion of the Great Loophole of the Great Wall of Tape. All right, so now we can put the hit higher here. And Wisage. Oh, actually, he's got a pretty good battle score. There we go. Um, and excellent. We have 35 recruits per year, plus 176 garrison capacity, and um, uh, manage garrison, add soldiers. Um, let's say 150. What? Oh, I only have 46. Add soldiers. Uh, 46, because I don't want them to immediately get caught or captured. Exit. Excellent. <sighs> and fantastic sensation. Where, I mean, you know, it's 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 going to be a tough job for you, frankly, and I I think that you have the ability to do it. So, see if I can disconnect and reconnect my box. My bot's super busted right now. Bot does not like uh, Twitch not working right now. Well, they're reconnected. Still thinks there's nobody in my chat, though, so that's not good. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> Roughly an hour until uh, Diredorf turns his stream on, so, you know. Uh, what do I need to do? I'm. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, obviously, we're going to go visit the arena. You enter the little arena, and uh, it is a sizable venue where warriors come to battle and locals pay to watch. Let's bet on a fight. You pay the two gold fee to watch the fight. All right, chat. Who are we going to bet on? The blessed goblin warlord or the bandit warlord? Who do we bet on? We need some money to hire more soldiers, so, uh. Who are we betting on? Blessed Goblin are the gobbles. I, I don't know actually who's stronger here. I could cheat, but not gonna. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I just got a key for Celesta, Crown of the Magister. Neat. I think I'm leaning Bandit Warlord. He taller. How much gold would you like to bet? 3,000? The crowd scream and shout, and the two fighters emerge and begin the long walk to the center of the arena. The moment is tense, and they get as they get ever closer, until they are almost in reach. The crowd awaits eagerly for the first blow. Nice! Uh, the blessed goblin warlord kicks the bandit warlord backwards. The blessed goblin warlord swings for the bandit warlord and misses slightly. The blessed goblin warlord blocks the left blow from the bandit warlord, and the bandit warlord strikes the go blessed goblin in the head with a great force, and his head caves in and into a lump of gore. Yeah, I gotta suck up to those bandits. Well, bandits are taller, and um, in general, goblins seem to just have really, 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 really crap... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh like, battle score. Like, they're kind of just cannon fodder, so. All right, that's a bit more money. That's a bit more gold. Uh, let's, uh, let's bet on another fight. Oh, whoa. What would you like to bet on? The Titan Wasp form, Acolyte form, Mage, or the Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer? I'm leaning whatever that first one is, uh, because that's a titan. Speaking of titans, a titan of fish tanks, Picture Point, is in my channel right now. How you doing? Thank you very much for the 11 months. You ain't no king, but uh, welcome to Warsim. How are you? It's good to see you. Hope you've been well. Titan, wasp form, acolyte, Mage. How much gold are we betting on that Titan chat? Max is four thousand five hundred. Also, are we re Are you guys ready to see the wonderful Leonard the Legislator, courtesy of Stone? That is us. Evil Leonard, the legislator. I, f I feel like he needs a monocle. That's like maybe the only addition I would really make. I like the scar on the cheek. I think that's what that is. It's a nice touch. The bow tie is really great. Big fan of the, big fan of the bow tie. Because we are Leonard the Legislator. Have you seen this game before, Picture Point? We're, we're doing the max bet. The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage versus the Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer. The screams of the crowd echo across as the fighters emerge from the gates. They stride closer as the horns blow and the crowd roars. Uh, just a, a, I'd say like a dark platinum. A dark platinum. You have not? Oh, really? Uh, it's a, it's, 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 it's cheap. And it's, it's fun. It's real fun to play on stream because, I don't know, chat gets way into it, I find. Right, chat? <laughs> yes! The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer is caught in a parry. The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage breaks the parry and instantly gets a sharp blow. The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage swings swiftly and gets an incredible strike on the Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer. The crowd roar for the Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage. The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage and the Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer get caught up in a parry. The Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage breaks the parry and instantly gets in a sharp blow. The Blessed Horned Fire Pyromancer Pyromancer is defeated. The crowd wars and chants for the Titan Wasp form Archelite Mage as he leaves victorious. You get 6,750 from your bet. Oh, absolutely. It should be tinted red. Definitely should be a tinted red lens. Absolutely. We did the one did. Round of beers, Chad. All right, uh, let's go um, visit with our, our throne room. 
There are eight people waiting to see me. I don't blame them. I kept throwing them in prison. Um, so, uh, picture point. In this game, you can choose your backstory. Uh, last time I played through this game, we were kind of a goody two... Well, goody two-shoes-ish um, uh, goblin lover who uh, was try trying to do his best to to, to run the realm. Uh, this time, we are Leonard. Um, we, are a, we sold our souls to Satan um, and uh, are trying to bring about the apocalypse by... Uh, uh, befriending demons and, uh, you know, just being all around evil. That's lovely. Yeah. So basically we're doing like an evil run. Um, Satine. Yes. Satine is our, is our good friend. Um, uh, uh, well, maybe not friend, uh, boss, overlord, master, uh, person in charge. All of those. Uh, a shady man arrives in your court and invites you to play a coin flip game. Um, I tell him no thank you and tell him to fuck off. <clears throat> uh, you send in another... A visitor, and you are visited by an armed man who says he will join your army for a fee of 14 gold. Sure. Plus one soldier. That's actually a cheap soldier. You are visited by an armed man who says he will join your army for a fee of 24 gold. Uh, to the dungeons with him. That's twice the money of the last one. You are visited by an armed bandit who says he will, it would be an honor to serve the dark legislator. I like how they're calling me the dark legislator. That's new. Allow him to enlist. You are visited by a traveling bard, and he asks you to show you the clicking ways. I am an expert musician, he says. I shall play you a lengthy song. Well, hold on. Let me let me mute the background sounds. Play your song for us, traveling bard. The clicker nods and prepares to play for you. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of sucked. <clears throat> Although I, I I will just say this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh being a demon worshiper your first time through this game. It's like if you do decide to play this game, uh try and just kind of be nice. That was so bad, my general is considering using your music as a method. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just facing <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I'll execute him, but option number three is really fucking funny. You're gonna have to convince me to not do that. Um I I think I'm just gonna say option number three because that's really funny. Your relationship with the musician's guild decreases. You are visited by another traveling bard. He asks to show you his old quicking ways. Uh, oh, this is the same guy. Um, let him leave your court. You are visited by an armed bandit who wishes to fight for you. Okay. Uh, you are visited by a fat laborer who claims that your soldiers broke his fence. He seeks reparations the, for the broken fence, saying it was passed down in his family. <laughs> This fence has been on my land for generations. It was my father's fence and my father's fence before him. My great-grandfather's fence before he. And my great-great-great-grandfather built the fence. And this fence is is the symbol of my land. And uh, went the fuck to the dungeons with him. <clears throat> Rumors of your cruelty spread. Uh, you are, your guards bring forward a man who is accused of trying to spread the message of rebellion. Ask him to explain himself. A shame I did not succeed, but the great loophole behind the great wall of red tape shall fall! No, you shan't. Uh, ask the arresting guard for a statement. Your guard informs you, I am certain with all my mind that this man is guilty. I mean, we do have overzealous arrests turned on, so to the dungeons with him. Plus one public opinion. Fuck yeah. Um, there is no one waiting to visit you. Perfect. Uh, let's recruit some soldiers. Uh, hire units. Um, hire gobbins, berserkers. Uh, all 63. Perfect. Uh, we're going to hire bandits from your prison. 117 available. Perfect. Uh, let's hire knights. All six. Let's hire soldiers. All 50. I don't have enough gold. Uh, math. Um, 20? Two? Sure. Uh, let's hire peasants. All 30. Like 30? Oh. Um, let's hire peasants a uh, 10. There we go. Um, now let's go back to the throne room and, um, uh, communicate with the demon overlord. Excellent. Speak to the mirror. You begin to speak to the mirror. 
and suddenly a strange demonic sound fills the airwaves and the conscious mind of the demon overlord appears in the mirror before you. His power is clear. You can scarcely hold his gaze and you feel as though the room is on fire. Why have you summoned me, Lemurd? Um, I, I need more demons? But I need more demons. But what if I need more demons? I need more meat. I, I need more demons. Howdy, Gaynerd. What up? Yeah. God, this game is fun, but I get way too into it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a year done, I think. Uh, I, did, I already did done did the exploring of the realm did, I think. Yeah, let's go back to Fort Kealuk and um, manage the garrison, add soldiers, uh, 20. Because I don't really want them to get taken over immediately. Um, and we're going to end the current year. We're going to attack the rebels. Let's invade the rebels, because last time we were very successful. General Lord Packner says, good. We will, uh, will, what will the attacking force be made up of? Uh, yes. General Gorhan Packner says an invasion is a wise tactic indeed. It will show them our true might and take their homes in the process. Remembering, pillaging is legal, so I get extra money from murdering shit. Um, Sir Nut Castle Stormer says, I've done some spying and arranged some battle reports for you, my legislator. The great loophole behind the wall of red tapes. Battle score is 2,344. The rebel army is 1,937. Good. We shall crush them. Chat, give me your best crushing emote. Whatever your best crushing emote is. It could be anything. It, it could be like a cute puppy or... I, I, I don't know, a dwarf with a gun. What, whatever work. You're about, or a bonk, that work. Bop? Bop exists. <clears throat> Good. Let's crush them. I need some water. I mean, I've only been streaming for 9 hours and 33 minutes, so we're doing pretty good. Your men arrive in the rebels' territory and prepare for battle. That will soon take place. As you spot a rebel village, the enemy emerges and the battle begins. The invasion was a success. You gained loot, land, and glory. The rebels' losses is 532, and you lost 223. You have 683 men remaining. Man, if only we had 666 men remaining. Just saying, we almost made it there. We almost made it there. Also, Chad, thanks for your participation. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Goran Bakna, my legislator, says the dastardly crut, the dastardly nut uh, cr crut are attacking us. You Do you want to see the battle or catch the results in the end of turn reports? I want to see the battle. Ooh. Well, that wasn't good. I think they attacked my fort. Uh, read through advanced details. Um, choose a report automatically. See, see my Let's choose a report automatically because I just want the advanced one. I want to see the advanced port each year. Yeah, there, there we go. Uh, and move on. What? All right. Uh, we got a, you receive 158 gold in rents from your six lands, 266 gold from the bank tax law, uh, 731 gold from your gambling tax law, uh, 12, 1,286 gold from general taxes, and, uh, let's see, uh, 556 gold from tributes of cash to common slaver, and, uh, 29 gold from the harvest. Uh, you earn two golden interest from your shitty little investments, and due to overzealous public arrests, the public opinion dropped by two, and due to forceful enlistment, public opinion has dropped by one. Uh, you enlist 83 presents in your six lands, and Wisage the Old Knight sends 14 soldiers from Fort Kalak. Oh, hey, no, they're fine. Good to know. Uh, the Demon Overlord sends you 30 demons. Hell yeah! During 
the Hail Square Hammer Day. D celebration, five people are sacrificed. Awesome. And fires during the Hail Square Hammer Day celebration. Uh, celebration of killed 11 people. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, wages. You pay 213 golds to the fool, your diplomat, and uh, Sir Nut, the spy master, and gets his money and my 14 in wages to your soldiers. Uh, the militia recruits 90 peasants this year, small war band, yada yada. Uh, Crut defeated you in a skirmish. Okay. Okay, it was just a skirmish. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it looks like we're attacking Crut next year. Marin's domain invaded the lands of Crut. We shall crush Crut, I think. You know, I love this game because there's so many people who are just like, man, Dwarf Fortress, you know? Uh, I, I, this looks like something I'd be playing in like ni ni 1985 when in reality it's like, there's no way in hell. Um, there's no way in hell that um, uh, Dwarf Fortress would actually run on one of those computers, right? Um, but, uh, this is actually a game that would run on one of those. Also, um, update on, uh, Leonard the Legislator. Now, chat, I, I, I need someone to do me a huge favor. Take this image from art, cut out Leonard the Legislator so I can have a, uh, a transparent background so I can use him in the thumbnail. Did somebody do that? Because I'm a very lazy Photoshopper and hate doing that shit. So if someone could do that, yeah, you you get like I don't know ten imaginary brownie points. God, I like guys. What do you guys think of that crown sub badge? Because today is my first time seeing that. The one that Audio has and Stone Hobo have. It's literally my first time ever seeing that because it only just appeared today. You could do that yourself. If you could do that, that would be excellent. You have a good night, Peter. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you much for hanging out. 23 years remaining. All right, uh, recruit, sell, and disband troops. Uh, da, 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 well, we need to stop people from absolutely hating us. So uh, I think it's time that we change the laws of the land. Uh, taxes and subsidies. Um, I think that we're going to subsidize militia, meaning more militia. That's, that'll make people happier. It'll cost me some money, but that's fine. Um go to social policies i mean what's a better way to cheer up morale than just like hire a sex cult i mean we're evil right can we see it again uh it's it's on the discord but yeah sure you can see it again this is Leonard plus red monocle. And this is for me, for thumbnail. So, Leonard, the legislator. Shoutouts to Stone, aka Seashore's Wall, for doing this. And I, I will throw this in the thumbnail for funsies. All right, so um, hire the sex cult. Yeah, we got to make people happier somehow. Uh, the scribe notes in your demands on a scroll and heads off to the act to action them. Uh, you have paid and hired the love cult from Songwood to help your people. I mean, they, they don't like the fact that, you know, we're taxing them like crazy and forcing them all to join the military and overzealously arresting everybody. So we have to hire a sex cult to make people happier. Obviously. This seems totally logical. Can I hire demonic people? No. Demons are too evil, or too are too weak. 
Uh, declare a breathing tax. Well, I think it's time we declare a breathing tax uh, to pay for the sex cult, logically. Um, and we are going to declare the great loophole behind the wall of red tape a slave kingdom and enslave all of the people. Uh, we now have 437 slaves. Public opinion is now terrible. But we have a sex cult, so that's cool. Um, everybody hates me. Whee! Seems fitting. I mean, you know, we're evil. I might have gotten a bit nuts with that one. Uh, we shall go to the... Let's go to the Northern Lands. Because I need to find the slaver's fort. You find... A, which I already did. Uh, you find a wandering group of six masterless soldiers. One of them steps forward and says, We be needing a new master, perhaps. That be you? And offers to join for free. Cool. Excellent. That's, ex I, that's exactly what we need. Near the north is a cold place. Though mild compared to the rest of the north, the, the place is filled with forts and places of violence, such as the Brawler's Pit and the Thick Blood Tavern. We've already discovered the Slaver's Port. We got one more exploration point, and we find nothing. But we can go to the Slaver's Port now. We're going to, um, not fight that. But we are going to buy some slaves. Um, we buy 200 slaves. Let's buy some slave soldiers. Oh. Sweet. There we go. We'll eventually invade them. Don't worry. Hey, what's up, Norstat? <clears throat> um, hmm. Everybody hates us. We evil. Life is good. You're going to head out? All righty, audio. We'll see you when we see you. There are eight people waiting to visit us. I don't know why, but uh, a drunk man enters your court sobbing and says, I spilled my drink. Get this man a nail. Plus one public opinion. Uh, send in the next visitor. A pair of drunk men enter your court and begin simultaneous tirades. Uh, clearly, this is the only way to settle this is a fight. Uh, the men heed your suggestion and turn to fight each other. Uh, Sir Lemon the drunk swings and misses the opponent. They keep smacking each other, slapping each other, and plapping each other, and flapping at each other, and beating each other, and punching each other, and kicking each other, and hitting each other, and hitting each other, and smacking each other, and beating each other, and the fighting is finally over. The winner is of the fight is Sir Lemon the Drunk. Excellent. Satisfied with the result of the fight, the winner bows and leaves the court. Uh, the body of the other man is tossed out of your court. Your head diplomat, Burner the Fool, approaches you and requests a pay raise of 26 gold. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be uh, requesting a pay raise from this boss. Execute him? Maybe a bit extreme. I mean, I don't want to just get assassinated immediately, which might end up happening anyway based on how much people hate me, so... Let's offer him half as a pay raise. Diplomat wait. The burn of the fool accepts and is happy with at least some pay raise and leaves. A drunk man enters your court sobbing and says, I spilled my drink. Give this man a fucking ale. Come on, man. Just get out of my court. Uh, a drunk man enters your court and declares he wishes to challenge you to a drinking contest. Uh, have the man removed from your court. A pair of drunk men enter the court and begin simulating his tire. It's clearly the way they've settled this is a fight. Satisfied with the result of the fight, the winner bows and the body of the other is tossed out of your court. A drunk man enters the fight. Um, have him tossed out. A drunk man enters your court sobbing. Give this man a drink. And there we go. 97. Minus 97. Well, hey, see if people are being a bit happier. All right, we're going to go arrange diplomacy. Um, we 
We're going to go to the independent territories. And uh, we're going to... Apparently we're at war with the Blood Naga. They're not super happy with us. All right, so we're going to speak with these Titan Wasp form mages. They have 203 units, uh, and I would like to be diplomatic with these folk. Uh, so Patriarch, um, I, I'm sending, I'm requesting a trade agreement. Oh, the Moon Patriarch, we shall not, we shall not even consider trade with those who harbored slaves within their lands. Well, can I hire troops from you? Ooh, I can hire one Titan Wasp form Acolyte Mage. They must have a really good battle score. All right, well, they don't want to work with us. That's fine. Um, how about the protofolk? Your head diplomat, Baronor the Fool, tells you the diplomatic action with the tribe of the Warborn protofolk is not possible due to their lack of civility and savage nature. He confirms, however, they seem to tolerate us. <laughs> they seem to tolerate us. Okay. Uh, Marin's Domain. Trade and Diplomacy. These are the Fire Pyromancers. They, the Horned Fire Pyromancers, they, they seem kind of... Legit. Oh, they, 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 none of these guys like these slaves. Man. All right, I guess you all must die. How about um, the goblins? They're too savage. Also too savage. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll end the year. We're going to attack the rebels. We're going to skirmish with them. Uh, send in half of my troops. Gal uh, General Gorhin Packner says skirmishing with them will cut their numbers down without so much risk. Good plan, my legislator. Sir Nutcastle, uh, Castle Stormers, as I've done some spying and I have arranged the battle reports for you. Uh, hmm. That's not good odds. We're going to retreat. Word reaches that your slave soldiers rise up against you and declare a slave revolt using the image of a pyramid in the night with an eye on it as their banner. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I would immediately lose the alliance if I did that. I mean, I'm making money. Lots of money. My gambling tax law. Uh, rents from the, my, my breathing tax. That's lovely. Look at all the money we're getting from our breathing tax, guys. Um, slave kingdom public opinion has dropped by 10. Uh, due to your tax on breathing, public opinion has dropped by 2. So if I were to stop being a slave kingdom, uh, having the sex cult around would uh, totally fix everything. I enlist 48 peasants from your six lands. 43 of your peasants desert and join the rebellion's much larger army. S the demon overlord has, sends you 60 demons to assist in conquering the realm. Excellent. Excellent. I think I'm going to get rid of the militia subs extra law. All right. Or just wait for the slaves to die first. Yeah, that's also an option. All right, let's uh, let's let's change the laws in the land. You know, maybe I got a little bit uh, overzealous. Uh, we're gonna free all slaves plus ten public opinion. All right, so they still hate me, but they hate me slightly less. Um, but we're gonna still have the breathing tax, um, and uh, still too weak to uh, have demonic tax. Um, higher units, higher peasants. Uh, 90. 98. Whoop. 98. I am out of gold. We're going to go explore the realm. Uh, 
I can't uh, fight with the slavers. Found the black market. I discovered a recently put out campfire. You find a wandering group of 32 desperate looking warriors. One of them steps forward and says the men will join you for no less than two gold each. Literally can't afford them. Ah. Losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> Being evil's hard work, Jet. <laughs> Mm. Being evil is, is indeed hard work. I'm just like kind of taking a breather from Mo. Also, chat, today's my best day this month. Just kind of in every way. So just thank you for that because I kind of needed this. <laughs> it's been kind of a rough month. So big thank you just to everybody who's been hanging out and just watching the stream, hang out and chat, chilling to everybody for the raids and whatnot so far today and all that shit. Like, just thanks. All right. So we freed the slaves. Um... I think we shall go speak with our Titan buds. Because that's probably not a bad idea, right? Or hopefully soon to be Titan buds, yeah? Uh, let's go to the independent territories. And go to the um, the moon, Patriarch. Um, trade and diplomacy. A trade agreement. Uh, the Patriarch uh, says that you need to do more to gain his trust. And he won't trade with just anybody. Send a gift of gold. Us, I, I can't afford a gift of gold. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's go to the, the, the minor trolls. Minor trolls. Uh, your head diplomats, the fool, tells you that your diplomatic action with the tribe of minor trolls is not possible due to their unintelligent and savage nature. And confirms, however, they do seem to tolerate us. View their relations with other factions. Not a big fan of Eric. Oh, that's period, not three. Not possible there. Too savage. Let's go to the bandit horde. That's a lot of money to bribe them to disband. Who do they hate the most? Oh, they really hate the moon patriarch. Hmm. All right. Well, shit. I have 17 gold chat. Let's go bet on the little arena. What do we think? Ah, uh, we'll bet on a fight. I am... Hmm. Who do we want to bet on, chat, in the arena? The heroic, the heroic Blood Naga Elite or the Titan Wasp Form Acolyte Master? Who do we think on that one? Our boys, the Titans. Did you do a prediction? Um, sure, why not? Let's do a prediction. I can sit on this screen for a little bit. Sure, why not? I need to kind of take a break from reading anyway. Because, like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm losing my voice and I still have to survive, like, uh, two hours of after hours and then I'm rebuilding my office tonight, so. For those of you who don't know, by the way, tonight I'm rebuilding my office. So, um... If you're not in my Discord, if you join my Discord, I'm going to do a secret stream up there after I'm, like, mostly done eating uh, where I'm going to rebuild my office. So if you want to watch me move a bed, I'm doing that tonight. His Majesty, or er, Sir Hobo, hath spoken, or er, written in the chat. We shall wait for the uh, prediction. Also, according to Twitch, I'm no longer live. You can still see the stream, right, chat room?
Uh, it's, it appears to be live again, according to Twitch. Cool. Thanks, Twitch, for remembering that I'm still live. I mean, I'm, I'm betting on the Titan, just for reference. I've not gone down for you yet? That's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My, my view count went to zero and my bit rate went to zero, so I just figured I'd ask, you know? Good to know. No errors on my end. I, I did drop some frames earlier, but nothing major. All right. <clears throat> I'm betting on the Titan. How much gold do you wish to bet? I only have 15, so let's bet all 15. You've bet 15 gold. The gates slide open and two fighters emerge re readily from the gates. And the crowd is electric and their chanting can be heard from miles around the warriors charge and prepare for death. Um, after a very, very long battle, actually, holy shit, I'm not going to read all this. Um, the last few moments of the fight where the Titan Wasp form Acolyte Master strikes the heroic Blood Naga elite on the head with a tremendous force and the entire crowd is on their feet in shock. The heroic Blood Naga is elite is defeated. The crowd roars for the Titan Wasp form Acolyte Master as he leaves victorious. Also, can we just like remind everybody that Everybody in this entire faction was enslaved for one year and then subsequently released. So everybody just went through a year of slavery. By the way, also, we have a sex cult that keeps everybody happy. So, um... Uh, obviously, we're gonna bet on another fight because... I need to make money somehow, so uh, if Homo wants to do another prediction on the next one, feel free. We're going to bet on another fight. Two gold. A goblin versus a horned fire pyro necromancer. Well, I know who I'm betting on. Who's chat betting on, though? That's, that's the important question. I don't know. I mean, but I, I know who I'm betting on. Also, um, I'm not going to be going all the way until Dyer starts, because apparently he starts at 9.15. For some reason, I thought he was starting at 7.15, unless something is broken. Hold on a second. <laughs> Which is fine. I can totally do that then, but I'm not going that late. Uh, Well, I mean, the tweet's supposed to go live at 7.15, so... Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Something's wrong. We have a, a, a Google calendar that we keep that I think is an hour or two hours off. So, <laughs> I hope that's the case. Anyway, uh, I'm betting on number two. How much gold would you like to bet? You currently have 20 coins. 20 coins. Voting Gobbo just for lulls. Good luck. You slide the gates open and one of the fighter quickly dashes out towards the other, ready to spill out some blood. The crowd is ecstatic, and the cheers and roars in the crowd echo for miles around. The horned pyro pyromancer uh, and the goblin get caught in a parry. Breaks instantly. The goblin gets caught in a parry, and the horned fire ma necromancer, necromancer pyromancer manages to break the parry and get a good hit. The horned fire pyromancer gets a good hit on the goblin. The horned fire pyromancer gets a fantastic hit on the goblin. You win 30 gold from your bet. Excellent. We now have 30 gold. We're slowly making money. Chat's quickly making money.
Uh, bet on a fight. Any even close fights? Uh, they do happen sometimes. Pretty rare. I think this world just kind of doesn't have super balanced champions right now. Oh, this is an interesting one. Who would you like to bet on? An infuriated goblin or a knight? Hey, freeways. Not worth betting? I mean, then don't. I'm betting on the night. Which is kind of making my position known. You've made a total of 250 points. I mean, bet with Strimmer. You'd vote Angry Gabo? I mean, you vote what you want. If you could vote. Oh, this game updates weekly, Freeways. Oh, I, I get you. The problem is the bets aren't worth anything. I mean, you do you. If you bet, you can't close. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to bet 28 coin. You bet, you've bet 28 gold. The crowd scream and shout, and the two warriors emerge and charge towards each other, intent to kill. There is much tension and anticipation in the air. The knight gets a good hit on the infuriated goblin. The knight strikes the infuriated goblin in the head with great force. The infuriated goblin is defeated. I mean, we just need to go find the Scorpo pit for actual, like, even bets. But we won 42 gold from our bet. Excellent. Knight wins. Shoutouts to anybody who betted knight. Um, let's go explore the realm. And uh, let's go to the southern lands oh well i've already done all my exploring apparently um did i do the throne room stuff ah there's 13 people fight pit yeah we need to find that we need to get to that scorpo pit because there's a scorpion pit which is really qu quite a bit of quite a quite a bit of silly fun You're going to go to bed already, Bastet. You have a good night's sleep. Remember, chat, uh, my stream is ending pretty soon here. Uh, we're getting close to being donezos. Uh, but when we end, uh, I'm going to be raiding Dire Dwarf, who is uh, hosting Halcyon Frequency After Hours, which is our, uh, like, funsies viewer games show. Um, and we are going to be, um, excuse me, uh, playing some Gartic Phone. So... If you're enjoying this and you want some more shenanigans after this, you're going to hear more of my voice over on that stream afterwards. Uh, so there's that. Coming up pretty soon. You enter the throne room and, and take your place on the throne of the great loophole behind the wall of red tape. You are told that there is a line of 13 people waiting to visit. You are visited by an old man asking if you could spare a few coins for his 12 kids. They are starving. That's more coins than I am willing to spend on your uh. silly kids. Should stop eating so much. You are visited by a man who claims just one of your soldiers kicked his front door in. He is furious and asks to be paid back um, to the dungeons with him. Um, you are visited by an angry tavern goer who, has, who says he found a scroll with a crude sketch of a tree on it near a tree, and he has brought it to you as an offering. Um... What? <laughs> he found a crude sketch with an image of a tree on it near a tree. Uh, sure. I mean, free six golds, I guess. 
you uh, take the item, and it is added to your treasury as six gold. Cool. Uh, send in the next visitor. You are visited by uh, a, a rotund stable hand who claims one of your soldiers trampled his flowers. He is furious and asks to be paid. Uh, refuse the request. Uh, you were visited by a man who identifies himself as a member of the Camp of Love, a hub of kindness located in the far west of Songwood. He smiles and nods and greets you before offering some counsel. Should we take his counsel? I mean, we are we are paying them. Well, do we just like we just pin up the 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 painting on the um on on the fridge yeah no totally it's added to the fridge um uh, we'll thank him for his counsel he nods and says with pleasure wishing you good fortune before parting off what this is new you are met with a surprise when you see a large green slimy creature wriggling into the court it looks at you and begins to speak. A musical one. I work under the sky of the chaos, but perhaps you shall be lucky and a wonderful and harmonious order shall emerge from the chaos. All right, well, I need to pause my background babbles because I want to know what kind of slurping sounds this thing's gonna make. Chatty, you ready? Grab your beers, take a sip of coffee, because this is gonna be a good one. Put it on the demon mirror. <laughs> yeah, right, but just, just put the little doodle on the demon mirror, it'll be great. Huh, he played all of the musical instruments at once. Enjoy the chaos of my magical music stomach. <laughs> I kind of love it, actually. That's, that's, that, that, that just happened. He played all of the music sounds at once. Uh, all right. I'm kind of sad it wasn't loud longer, but, you know. Uh, you were visited by a warrior who seeks to repair his family's ancestral sword. He needs a hundred gold. Man, look at the sword. Here, my legislator, the sword was wielded by the forebearers while fighting against the ancient northern clans in the Battle of Swiftwind. My kin were of the few western survivors. I, 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 I have to refuse because I, I don't have the money. The warrior says, okay, sorry for wasting your time before leaving. You are visited by an old man who asks if you could spare a few coins as he is starving. Give him six gold. You are visited by a wood gatherer who wishes to join your army as his children were eaten by goblins. Go nuts, Ming. The wood gatherer beats his chest for a moment and then gets lets out a, wear, a war cry before jogging out to collect his equipment. You are visited by a small goblin. He looks at you silently and hands you a coin. Chat, do we take the coin? Do we take the coin? Yes or no? Do we take the coin? Do we throw them out? Or do we hand him to the slaver? I mean, it's free money. It's just, it's just fucking goblin. I mean, come on. They are like the equivalent of a... Uh, nothing, anyway. We'll probably buy him back from the slaver. The goblin tries to run away, but is quickly grabbed and taken to the goblin slaver. Who gives you a four gold fee. Finder's fee, you know? Uh, you are visited by a drunk man who says, Hey, I was, I, I, uh, I thought I was a really funny joke. You want to hear it? Chat, do we want to hear the drunk man's joke?
Joke? Joke? Yes? Okay. Joke it is. I don't like the king's newly made gold coins. But I guess... <laughs> I just say it all change. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> it's not not as good as the gnome joke from earlier. Um, I don't like the king's newly minted gold coins, but I guess I just hate all change. Ah, 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 ah. Not bad. Not bad. Chat, this is up to you. What do you think we do? You know, we, we should hire him as a member of staff and then rename him to Calcium Crypt. <laughs> Off with his head, it was a good joke to the dungeons. I mean, I think that joke was... I mean, I, I, I chuckled. It was okay. Man nods and leaves. You're visited by a bandit who wishes to fight for you. Okay. Uh, you're visited by an armed bandit who says that he will serve in your army for 24 gold coins. Uh, sure. Uh, there's no one here. Okay, so... um. Let's end the year. I'm going to attack the slave rebels. General Pachner, uh, we will send half of my troops. And we will... Ooh. Fuck it. The skirmish was a failure and your men were slain. But they lost more than I did, so we'll we'll win next next year. That's a lot of money. All right, we're we're gonna ease off on the taxes this year, I think. Um, my tax on breathing has dropped public opinion by two. Uh, my overzealous arrests has dropped public opinion by two. But the love cult has increased public opinion by five. So that's great. That's that's good. Uh, you enlist 49 peasants from your six lands. Good stuff. The wastage of the old knight sends nine soldiers. The demon overlord only sends 20 demons. Did I do too many nice things? Oh, no. During the Hail Square Hammer Day celebration, three people are sacrificed. Good shit. Uh, you, you pay a bunch of wages. Uh, you pay a thousand in gold militia to your militia law. Uh, the love cult spread their love, costing 900 gold for helping many of your people. Uh, fires during the Hail Square Hammer Day. Uh, have gone without issue. Nobody died. The slave rebels gained 13 supporters in your lands, and uh, the militia recruits 159 peasants this year. Yada yada. The great loophole of the wall of the tape lost a great fight against the great revolt. And my treasury sucks. It's pretty much it. All right. Uh, well, we need to get some more money. So um, I don't know if you want to do a, uh, a betting or a, a predictions. Chat, predictions or nah? It's up to you guys. Um, but I, I need to go make some money. So uh, we're going to go bet on a fight. Hornfire Novice, Pyromancer, or the Blood Naga? Ooh. Ooh, that's what I don't know. Do what you gotta do, Infinity. Yeah, this one I don't know. So, chat, uh, Hobo, can we, can we get a prediction for this one? Because I genuinely have no idea. Hmm... Horned Fire Novice Pyro. If it was a master, hmm, or the Blood Naga. I don't know much about the Blood Naga. Man, someone's betting hard on something. It's worth nothing again. I mean, someone just like overlaunched the bets, so you know. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna bet Blood Naga. One thousand gold. The gates slide open and the crowd roars and chants. Both of the fighters emerge and enter the end of the arena, and the fighters walk until they are close, and the horns sound once more for the fight to begin. And I lose. The horned fire. Novice Pyromancer kicks the Blood Naga backwards. The Horned Fire Novice Pyromancer swings for the Blood Naga but misses wide. The Horned Fire Novice Pyromancer and the Blood Naga get caught in a parry. The Horned Fire Novice Pyromancer manages to break the parry and get a good hit. I think that could have gone either way, actually. Thanks, Hobo, for running these, by the way. The upset. Yeah, no kidding, man. Ugh. Ouch. Pyro strong, apparently, yeah. Oof. I'm gonna go explore the realm. I'm gonna go to the southern lands. I found a lava pit. The lava pit is believed to be a gateway to the world of demons, worshipped by a few. Uh... But the pit is feared by most. Lava burns all that it touches. Uh, sacrifice peasant. <laughs> I like this game's sound effects a lot. They're <laughs> really good. Um, the lava pit is believed to be a gateway to the world of demons. Worshipped by the few. F feared by most. Uh, the lava pit burns all that it touches. Uh, I just wanted to hear the sound again. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> of your peasant sacrifice spreads. <laughs> Minus one public opinion. Uh, you throw a peasant into the pit, and he passes out from fear before even hitting the lava. You watch his lifeless body being consumed. One more. Chat, chat. One more. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, we, do, we, do, we do, one, do we do one more? What's this? Just, do, we do, do, we do, do we do one more? I mean, we already have woohoo, which is one. One, one more. You throw the peasant into the pit before, uh, into the pit. He lets out a shriek that sh sends shivers down your spine. I feel like we're going to have to come here every year and, like, uh, you know, sacrifice a few people to the pit. Set fort rules. Uh, assist with assaults. Yeah, we want them to assist with assaults. Let the bodies hit the magma. Let the bodies hit the magma. Let the bodies hit the lava. Um, you know. Although, by the way, I should also remind everybody that this is like one of the best work from home games ever because like you can just like take one move at a time. And uh, one dwarf comic uh, commented on this game that he, he loves it because he can play it while holding his newborn. So, you know. Also, chat, it looks like uh, Dyer is setting his stream up. <clears throat> so, I think uh, now is a pretty good time to kind of wind down a little bit. Just a little bit. So, I think we're going to um, save game. I'm just going to call it evil. Because <laughs> we're pretty evil. Evil.txt has been saved. <sighs> we will continue this playthrough. It'll probably take us... Uh, based on the route that we're going, I have a feeling um, we're just going to, you know, end up dying. <laughs> we're probably just going to die to a revolt or something. Um, but that's okay. That's part of that game. You know, it's, it's not really a game about, um, y you know, being the best. <laughs> At least, not the way I play it. I, I play that game for dumb fun. So, we've been live for 10 hours and 20 minutes. I wanted to make up for yesterday. Yesterday uh, was a rough day for me. Um, I don't know about... Uh, 
I don't know how many of you guys were here at the end of yesterday, but yesterday's stream ended very abruptly um, and uh, with a lot of salt. Um, so sorry about that. So I kind of wanted to make up for that. Tomorrow's my day off. Um, tonight I'm going to be moving offices uh, and prepping for tomorrow because tomorrow my new bed arrives and I have a record player to go 